Guys, it's Rich here at uh, the Collector Car Gallery. We're at one of our warehouses here. We're taking a look at this 1962 Chevrolet Corvette. This is a Fuley. Uh, we're looking at this for one of a potential online buyers. Um, we've had uh, quite a few uh, calls on the car. Um, everybody kind of wants the same thing, so we're going to post up the videos onto YouTube and, and let everybody see what's, what's going on. <clears throat> like all of our videos, uh, you're going to get like the unedited look at the underside of the car, same thing with the top side. Um, and uh, we'll try and help everybody keep their bearings here as we're looking at this car. This car is a, is a fantastic car, finished in Honduras maroon with fawn interior. Um, the um, triple diamond award winner, uh, regional top flight, Bloomington gold, uh, really, really fabulous piece. I love the color combination. We'll talk about that when we get on the top side. But for right now, let's look at the underside of this vehicle. Um, <clears throat> looks like maybe, uh, and I think if I, ch I've got really good ownership history of this vehicle too. So it looks like, um, and if I remember right, we're looking at like a six to eight, eight year old restoration, maybe eight years, something like that. So um, you can kind of see the underside of the chrome all looks very nice also. Uh, this probably just, a de our detailer might have missed this, this, you know, polishing this um, underside valance here. Um, you can see that uh, the finish of the underside is, it's in very good condition. Um, we'll kind of see what kind of leaks there are once we come back this way, but let's look at kind of the, the, the driver's side outside of the car. And then um, we'll take a look at, um, at some of the other stuff when we start coming back. So um, you can see here, uh, it looks like the ex exhaust and everything looks looks like it's like brand new. Um, I don't really see any, looks like maybe a couple stone chips on the underside right here on the, on this, um, the splash guard here. Uh, body panels or the body, underside of the body looks excellent. As we look at the inside of the frame, uh, looks like we got a little, little drip here, like maybe something, I don't know if maybe there was a, a brake line or something, or maybe some, probably somebody sprayed something in there on the engine one time and it just leaked down here and, and knocked some of the paint off. It's not, this is not a powder coated frame. It's painted like it should be in the low gloss black. So you can see everything looks very nice. I mean, all this, all these fittings look, look like they're in like new condition. Yeah, so we're still on the driver's side here. This is the, the inside of the driver's side frame. Yeah, it looks, I mean, very, very nice. I can say that for sure. Okay, so we're spinning around. Um, you well, know, this is kind of lazy work here, but I, we're gonna, we can get this polished here. Somebody just didn't polish the rest of this the rest of the way so that's why it looks, it looks a little flat right there unless of course you know you got to be careful with this bloomington gold stuff like this you never know somebody would say somebody will tell you oh that's exactly how it's supposed to be but um pretty easy fix if it's not supposed to be that way so now we're facing the front of the car okay and uh you can see here you know uh, all brake lines look look fresh they look very nice I'm also inspecting to see if we can see any hits in the body. And so far, I don't see anything like that. Um, uh, looks like a fuel shut off. That's probably added on, you know, um, from uh, the, the previous owner added that fuel shut off on there. Not a bad idea. Uh, looks like it comes out and, and is removed easy enough for like NCRS stuff or um, Bloomington Gold stuff. Really, really tidy under here. Oh, you know, like like most every vehicle, there's a little, we got a few little drips, one drip here, one drip there. Um, nothing to be too concerned about, I don't think. Yeah, all this is finished out very nicely. I don't see any damage to the body either. Um, just some stone chips and stuff like that up there. In the on the un, in, underside of the fender wells, 
everything looks very tidy. Let's step outside here real quick. And so we're taking a look at the passenger side now facing the rear of the car. And we're just going to kind of look down, down the outside of the frame to see how this looks. Excuse me. Um, quite nice, really. Make this bigger for everybody. Really, really nice. You know, the right sheen, everything looks good. Everything looks like it's finished out correctly. Just a little, this little dust up underneath there. Really good. Excuse me. We'll look at the driver's side now. We're at the driver's side rear, looking at the front of the car here and, and walking towards the front. You know, I mean, you can just, you know, look at some of this stuff up in there. You know, I mean, just really, really kind of gives you the picture that this thing is nut and bolt done. I mean, every single piece touched. So my guess is that um, they, someone had removed the paint on the top side of the frame right there to verify a VIN number, probably. Um, that's, I mean, that's where the VIN number is on the frame of this car. So that's probably what somebody did. And they just, you know, I mean, it kind of a, kind of a sloppy job removing the paint, but it looks like somebody probably put something on there so they could see it um, at one point in time. I mean, very nice, you know, and even if we, as we look back here at the, at the finish of the car and the lines of the car from down below, really well done. So I'm um, pretty pleased all together. So, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, guys, that's our look at the underside. Next will be the um, top side and kind of the function stuff. We'll do a cold start for everybody also. So Thanks a lot. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Collector Car Gallery, Fort Wayne, Indiana.